right now. Me and my children, well, where we go? If they would have got him, we probably could have went back in the house. A woman and her three children are homeless tonight after fire destroyed their Lipscomb home. We first brought you this story as breaking news on CBS 42 Morning News. Welcome in tonight. I'm Jim Dunaway. And I'm Sherry Jackson. We showed you those flames as they destroyed the house and two of the cars in the garage. CBS 42 News reporter James McConaughe joins us there live right now. James, this is just devastating for this family. Sherry, it certainly is. If you take a look behind me here, this is what's left of their home. Now, they told me they're thankful that they escaped with their lives, but they lost everything in the blaze. Well, where we go? We ain't got nowhere to go. We ain't got nobody but each other. Stephanie McRoy said she woke up this morning and smelled smoke. Her son smelled it, too. When I looked in the kitchen, smoke was coming from the roof. So I said, um, Corn, I, I ain't holler at him because I ain't want him to panic. I said, Corn, Get your stuff and get out. McRoy woke up her other two children, got them out of the house, and called 911. Lipscomb Mayor Brenda Renz said the dispatcher alerted Lipscomb volunteer firefighters. Minutes later, the call for assistance was made to the Birmingham Fire Department. Only one of the Lipscomb volunteers responded and couldn't be sent to the scene alone. The mayor said within 20 minutes, Birmingham had a crew on the way. This is a mutual aid call, so our units are farther out than Lipscomb units would be, so that was all. Uh, Time. But once they were on the scene, the battalion chief said it took time to get water from the hydrants. It wasn't that they were working. Uh, different cities, hydrants have you know different parts, uh, turn different directions. And like I said, once they figured it out, we got it, got it turned out. Mayor Wren said the nature of a volunteer fire department is that sometimes the volunteers just aren't available. Having more volunteers would help remedy that. I'm getting ready for work, and I'm working up to smoke. What is the city of Lipscomb going to do when the next house catch a fire? Now, the family is looking for assistance. If you'd like to help, you can make a donation at any Wells Fargo bank to the donation fund for Stephanie LaGill McRoy. Live in Lipscomb, James McConaughey, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.